What happened? Sure. Go back, though. Ask yeah. to send 1230. Oh, we're going to tap that right now. 1230. We're live right now. Okay, well, that's a lot of tapping. I gotta check the channel, bro. Hi, everybody. Hold on, we're having a little technical difficulties. Yeah, just pop down to me. Yeah, we're on my thing. Yeah, we're here. Hello, everybody. Sorry about that. Something went kaplooey. Uh, we're waiting for Red to come back. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, I got kicked off. Um, gallery. Okay. Oh, Chris, give Brett a message in the chat. No, I'm here, mate. I know, He's but here. we're we're live. Oh, yeah, okay. we're live, Red. Yeah. So, tell them what I told you, Chris. Oh. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, we're on. Sorry about that. Hello, everybody. Thank you for showing up. As you know, if you don't know, tell everybody it's on the top dot live, and uh, you'll be able to watch it on somebody's YouTube. We have it on all the YouTube channels right now. Uh, like we've talked about, Mr. Mupar is planning on being here uh, as soon as he can. So we're going to chat with you until then. A uh, couple things, as you know, we've been doing shine the light or in the chair or a conversation with somebody or, but many people are doing it, which is pretty cool. Uh, meeting new people every week, every day almost, and uh, finding out about people that I didn't know. It's pretty cool. Nobody's forced to do anything. It's very laid back, but it gives a chance for everybody to know everybody. Um, what was I going to say? So we did this early because it was a better time for Mr. Mupar. We don't just pop these times in for no reason. We like to stay consistent if we can. Uh, what I want to say, anybody that is interested or want to come out and share who you are, uh, see me, Chris, Red, Julie, OTEC Pros, uh, I believe Marcy Ann's doing it. Well, she's doing French also. And you got comfort. So there's a place to go if you're comfortable. UK people, Red's been covering all the UK, Europe people, stuff like that. So if you want to go there, yeah, he's he's looking for people. So hit him up. He's going to tell you that when it gets to him. And we're going to feed off each other until uh, Mr. Mufaro shows up. I'm going to turn it over to Red for right now. Hi, thanks very much, Marty. Hi, Chris. Good to see you here with your sports jacket on and cowboy hat looking dapper. Back Fantastic. to the basics, baby. Back to the basics. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, as Marty said in the chair, uh, obviously, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about our CEO coming on. Um, but before we do that, I am looking for new people. Uh, for next week so if you fancy coming on and you've especially especially if you're, you're from the uk europe australia new zealand anywhere around there hit me up either on facebook messenger or red red for number seven at gmail.com love to have you on so that you can tell us your story a little bit about you and obviously on passive so let's just talk uh, very briefly uh whilst we're waiting for our ceo to come uh on here today about the interview I did with him, uh, which was uh, on Sunday, late on, and it went out live or recorded on Monday. Um, my personal view of it uh, really was, it was very insightful. And as he said, if you remember, uh, you've watched it, he really liked it because it made him think again about the reasons for why he did on passive. Now, it, yes, it has been a long journey uh, over six years, uh, but it really did reinvigorate and reun uh, reunite uh, the reasons behind why he did on passive in those first places. And it was really interesting, wasn't it, to listen to him uh, in those early days of why he put 
the idea of on passive together and why he came up with it. But one of the most important, and I thought uh, almost a revelation was he actually wanted somebody else to take the reins. And he was the one who was going to be in the background and he was going to assist that person to do what his dream was. He didn't actually want to be the, the guy at the front, did he? He wanted to be the one that was helping the guy at the front. And also, this comes all the way back to what he said at the end of the interview. But what did he say at the beginning was that he wanted to find a company that would facilitate his needs of his dream and what he wanted to try and achieve. He couldn't. So obviously, with the help and the backing of his family, decided to go it alone. And it was, in my opinion, from what he was saying, a really big, big decision. Why? Because he openly said, didn't he, on the interview, that he knew not only was it going to cost an absolute boatload of money, but also he knew that his reputation was going to be on the line. So he might, I don't know if he said this before, but I certainly do know that Prior to on passive, if you had Googled Ash Mufara, prior to on passive, if you had Googled that guy's name, do you know what would have come up? It would have come up as a, a grade one marketeer, a successful businessman. He would have been a, certainly top affiliates in many of the businesses that he uh, that he he was involved with involved with uh, to the point of actually building funnels and marketing material for the companies that he was uh, working with. And this showed that he really was a person who was uh, very um, prominent within the fields of the MLM and network marketing and um, organizations. And he knew that being uh, involved with on passive and really going against the grain of what we expect from the internet was going to impact and affect his reputation online. And he said that in, in the interview, that he knew that was going to happen. And sure as eggs is eggs, it did happen. And also the monetary side of things as well. He got through a whole load of money. But one thing he did reiterate was that it's been worth it. Why? Because of what he's trying to achieve and what he wants to achieve. Now, I mentioned right at the beginning, didn't I, that he wasn't the one that wanted to set up on passive. He wanted to back someone. And right at the end of the interview that we had with him, guess what he said? He said that in the future, he wants to be able to hand those reins over to trusted personnel to take on passive forward so that he can in fact get the time freedom back that he so craves for right now. He has literally sacrificed six years of his life, of his family, of his kids growing up for us and on passive. He wants that back. All he needs now is to get things going, put stuff in place, and he is going to be uh, a very, very happy man. That's for sure. But I love the interview. I love the, how relaxed he was. If you looked at his persona, he was kicking back a lot. He was relaxed. He actually wanted to talk more than the time frame that we had allocated for it. But I knew he was busy. And you know what Ash is like. He, he wants to talk and he wants to go on. But uh, I knew he had other commitments. And this was on a Sunday. You know, he really is working 24-7 around the clock for all of us to get on um, Passive 2.0 or the relaunch or whatever you want to call it, back on track as soon as possible. And a lot of the work that he does behind the scenes that we don't see involves all of that. I loved having him on. It was very, very informative. It certainly reignited a lot of my passion that I had forgotten about with on passive from those very early days of how it felt inside of me to listen to this guy speaking. I got that back again when the interview was over because it fired my belly once again 
for where this train of on passive is going. I loved every minute of it and I sincerely hope that you guys did as well. That's it for now. I'm going to hand it over to Chris. Fired my belly, eh? That's a new one. <laughs> good morning, Red. Good morning, Marty. I love you both. Uh, good morning to everyone that's watching. I love every one of you. And uh, I want to do some shouts, uh, shout outs here for a couple individuals in our family that need some prayers. Uh, uh, Red's mom and Jane's mom is doing, you know, they're going through some stuff. So I'm going to ask for prayers for them. Um uh, Liz Leary, I believe, is out of the hospital, and she's doing well, thank God. Julie Pierre, her daughter, is going through some uh, really horrible stuff right now. We're going to ask for prayers uh, for Julie and her, uh, Pierre and her daughter. Daryl Cook on Good News, his brother, is cancer-free, but he does still have a tumor, and it's very hard to get at it, so keep praying for him. Uh, my brother Harold Fox, today is your birthday. I love you, man. Uh, Harold Fox, I believe it was his granddaughter, was in a, a pretty bad accident. Uh, he definitely needs prayers for his family, uh, along with Robin Noble, uh, Rob Gorman, uh, anyone that I I forgot there was a death. Uh, Sue, I can't remember. I apologize. There's a lot of things going on. I also ask prayers for my son and his family. Um, a lot of a lot of things going on in life are crazy right now. It seems like everything's kind of buckling in and I keep I look up to God every single day to pray for not just for my family but for all of you and I will continue to do that I've done it my whole life so uh that's who I am um I have to say that I'm very proud to be in this position right now and in this company uh which I call my family I've never seen so many people gather and support a company that hasn't really uh, done anything yet. Uh, what they've done is they've gathered people from all over the world. Um, we've heard exactly what Ash wants to do, when he's doing it, how he's doing it, and we've seen ups and downs, And but yet we're all still here. Um, shout out to Marcianne also for the French community. Uh, Julie Wen also is looking for people on her side of the town, which is California. Uh, you get a hold of Julie, but this is the amazing support that we have in this family. In the future, uh, as we really get going here and as we go through some rough stuff, I ask for people uh, to support everything. Uh, I don't care if we gather somewhere, uh, make some you know visits to different states, which I plan on doing, and we just got to stay strong and come together. Everything that's going on right now, uh, as far as I know, Ash Mafar has it under control. Uh, he's working literally around the clock to do everything for us. Like Red said, it's not about just him. Uh, yeah, his reputation is on the line. I know three of us on here will go above and beyond to make sure that stays up there 100% because he does have a lot of people that say bad things about him. But when they, listen, when they find out the truth, and I'm sure Ash Bafar is going to talk about it. I think you're going to see people will see, wow, wow, unbelievable, you know. Do we know exactly what that is yet? No. But I just have this great feeling in my heart that it's going to be an amazing thing. Uh, I still believe 100% and passive is going to go through this world and make changes to every single country, every single person. Um, and, and I'm really, really excited about that. He talked about phase one, phase two, phase three. Uh, that got me excited. Um, I've watched many videos with, with all the great leaders. Um, and I call you leaders because I mean that. You're getting out there and you're talking about a company that wants to change the world. With all the good that's in this company, uh, you just can't lose. Uh, we are winning. I will use a famous quote that I made up. As uh, you know, one of the, uh, the former presidents always said, see, my goal is to make the world great again. Uh, not just America. I want the world to be great. I want the world to come together um, and support each other like we have in a passive now. Turn off the news, get on a webinar, and see what people actually are joining together on and say, wow, this is great. I support Ash. I support Marty. I support Red. I support this company. Um, I, I can't even give a percentage on it because it's way too high. 
But coming together as a group, as a family, as a company, as a business is the strongest thing we can do no matter what. No matter what the outcome sources. Uh, you hear us a lot of times say about the friends. Uh, you're welcome, Julie Wen. Uh, we have friends everywhere. Um, we This cowboy hat here was given to me as a I went to Florida. Uh, I know Narelle gave me cowboy hats. I love cowboy, cowboy hats. And, and, uh, I don't have the boots, but this is the togetherness of this family. This is the, the togetherness. That, listen, one man brought this all together. None of us would be here if he didn't come up with this idea and uh, put it to put it to practice. Um, and I think uh, 100% of the founders or early birds or whatever the heck we call each other these days understand that he wants to bring justice to the world, I think, through a company and, and get rid of the corruption. You can turn on the news every day and watch corruption, uh, whether it's a, a rich guy, a powerful person, um, and, and really what they're doing is bringing attention to themselves is me, 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 I want more. Um, and I'm passive, I haven't seen that. Uh, yeah, yeah, we all want more. We definitely want a lot more. But the truth is, I could never get to the place I really want to be uh, just from retiring. Ash Mafara has put this uh, amazing thing in my heart and brain that things are going to be 100% better. I don't worry about the future. I worry about the day, but I know in the future we're going to have uh, one hell of a company that is going to change. It is going to create happiness in the world. And right now we need some happiness with everything going on. Woo, I wish I wish I had a magic wand, but I don't. But actually I do. I believe on passive is going to be that magic wand. Uh, will it all happen in the first day? We say this up. No, no. But as time goes on, listen, just, just think of this unlimited. I love that word, unlimited. Never heard that before. Uh, unlimited, unlimited time and freedom. Uh, unlimited, you can make as much as you want to make. And it just keeps going. Uh, this is why we're still here. This is why another million, 400,000 people are still here. Uh, I have people say, oh, you know, I don't do this. Uh, and I say, okay, listen, take a break. Take a break. Go fishing, go cut your grass, go garden. Because you don't really have to do anything right now. Ash Mafar is taking care of everything. And that's all you need to know. Uh, when he comes on, I have no idea what he's going to say. But everything he does say is always positive. Even with all the negative that's going on in his life right now, uh, with everything, and, and you all know what's going on, but guess what? He's still standing strong. He's not going to give up. Uh, as a family, like I said, come together and support this company because it's truly going to change the world. How do I know this? Because I know. Because it's a God-fearing company, and I still believe that God has brought all of us in here for a reason. Uh, Marty said it a thousand times that you – you just didn't come in here. There was a reason that you came here. We have so many people we've been bringing out lately, and there's a lot more. And everyone all say, I just want to help out humanity. Uh, my family, I need to help out my family. That's what a passive is. You don't hear anyone talking about on Amazon or fail. Oh, yeah, they don't come on and say, we want to help people out. This is what Unpassive does. This is what Ash, and I don't care who you are. You don't really know Ash Mafara. Uh, I do know Ash Mafar. Marty knows him. Red knows him. This guy has got a heart of cold. I've never heard him say me, me, me as him, him, him. He talks about unity. He talks about uh, amazing things. He talks about people in the past that just did great things in this world. And he wants to continue that. But he wants to create a legacy for all of us where we can make amazing things happen. And that's what's, what's really going to happen here. When things are done and set and running, you're going to be able to make changes in your life that you never thought possible. All right. Working 32 years and just retired is not enough for me. I'm going to be telling you that right now. Uh, but a few years in a passive, and I told people that just got in a few years ago, you won. You already won. We all won. We're going to make this world better again. That's what I want to do. I want to help everyone that could possibly be helped. Uh, and with a group of people like we got, we're in every country. We are going to touch lives no matter what. That's unpassive. All right. Unpassive is built on love. It's built on heart. It's built on peace. It's built on unity for every person in the world that wanted to come in. 
And boy, do we have a lot of colors. You're talking about rainbows and a passive. We got them. Uh, religions, we got them. We all agree to disagree when it comes to certain issues because that's what families do. But the key here is and passive is for everyone. No one's turned down. Um, I said it last week. I have a lot of people that are negative toward me. and That's okay. That's that's normal. That's life. But I think about all the things that are going on in this world. Um, uh, one of my biggest pet peeves I really hate is the, the, the slave trade, the sex slave trade. Little boys, little girls uh, been missing for years, and, and I can't even explain to you what they're going through. But that's the kind of things that I want to do. I know a lot of you maybe even been seen it. Uh, that's things that we gotta fix. When I come onto this family, I don't look. I don't look at it as oh look what we're gonna get. It's look what we can fix, and it's gonna be an amazing thing. But I'm telling you right now, stay strong, keep your faith. If you are losing a little bit of your faith, then do something different, because really you don't have to do anything. He's doing it all for us right now. Push forward. Don't look backward. Look out your front window. Don't worry about that rear view window because let it go. Things happen every single day in companies, but you just don't hear about it. In on passive, you hear about it. The, transpar the transparency from Ash Mafara is unbelievable. Uh, can he tell us everything? No, he can't, but he will. I promise you that. Is his story going to come out someday? Absolutely. Do I believe that uh, Ash Mafara is going to be a well-talked-about name throughout the world? Absolutely. Why? Because he wanted to help people, and that's the truth. That's pretty much all I got. Again, Harold Fox, happy birthday to you, brother. We love you. We're praying for you. And everyone that I mentioned, uh, Marty, back to you. Or Red. Oh, oh, it's I know, oh. right? Uh, I hope I hope I hope Ash gets the uh, wear black memo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know I've got that's the only memo I've ever had. Um yeah, let me let me try to yeah, hook up to Chris, but he did go A to Z. Uh so I could go to any one of them. No, one thing I want to say, I want to show I want to uh, share my gratitude to the company, to Mr. Mafara, his family. Uh, the other big sacrifice, uh, somewhere around 2,000 to 3,000 days that on, on who knows how many hours and the money and the millions, tens of millions, maybe hundreds of millions for what? So that all of us could live a life that we only dreamt of. And I can tell you from experience I've been in every business you could possibly imagine in the 15 years leading up to Unpassive. I've seen them all. I've been in them all. I've tried them all. And there is nothing, nothing, I don't care who comes along, that is going to even compare to what we have. It's just not going to happen. I'm going to show my gratitude to people that got in, whatever you got in, and you're stuck with it. Because I, I believe this with all my heart. I wouldn't be here if I didn't believe in, in this company so strong. I am not doing a job. This is not my job. I'm doing exactly what I love to do. I left a company where I traveled around the world, met people around the world. At 44 years old, I was told, well, that's done for the rest of your life. And I went, well, that's not quite what I had in mind. Hit my peak at 42 did not know that years later I'd run into a company that is around the world. The difference is I can vi uh, visit people any country, any continent, anywhere by clicking a button on a computer. And a lot of that relationship that we were able to build, Ash paid for it. No joke. He paid for it when it was Zoom. He paid for it one whole year after we paid for O-Connect in September. Almost one whole year, they gave us for free. And yeah, I want people to really realize what we got. What happened to us? We paid $97, and then some of us paid $143. Some of us paid, what, $93? That's it for me, five and a half years. So when you hear people saying, oh, this company's this, listen, bite me. I was in a company that I paid 
every month, $100 to $120 a month. See Red shaking his hand? Because he did too, except he was smarter than me. He left before I did. I stuck it out another six months because I couldn't wait dumping my money on some clown. But I did it. But I, I always pushed 100%. Red was the same way. Chris is the same way. I don't care if he was an MLM. Chris worked hard when he worked. Whatever I did, I was an extreme at it. But to, to fall into a company like this, that is exactly what I've been looking for for 35 years, back to when I was 27 in Amway, this is what I was looking for today. And I'm so happy. And the reason we're charged up, the reason we do this day after day after day after day, it's not work. I would not work this hard in a company. And I work hard. I do this because I love what I'm doing and I love where we're going. Listen, if you if you if you look and you say, oh, he's all psyched up because he's something this and that. No, I'm psyched up because I saw where we've been and I can see the vision. It may not be crystal clear, but I know where we've been. I know what this man has done and his wife. Let's not leave out the family. They all sacrifice. All of them. And what did we do? We had to wait. And while we waited, you know what he said? Let me tuck you in. While we were waiting, he gave us O-Connect. And then now when O-Connect are working on it, we know that things are going on behind the scenes. He paid for Zoom again. I mean, this is unbelievable. Nobody does that. Nobody. When you go through a crisis, the first thing the company does is cut off the weight. I'm not paying for all that. We're going to keep. Never did he do that. Never, ever did he do that. And a normal company, normal, would have done that. A normal company would go in and make billions of dollars, pay the top 3%, 1.5%, pretty good chunk of change, 97%, would run around trying to build a business and they don't know what they're doing. I'm not putting people down. There, every A lot of people are smart enough to do it. Do you have five or six years? Do you have thousands of dollars to do it? No, you don't. What it has to do, we build a custom business, custom, that is going to have a waterfall of revenue coming in, a waterfall, not one spigot, not two, a waterfall, if you want to take it, of revenue coming in, and he built it and then scaled it out so that I become a hero. Chris becomes a hero. Red, all of you watching this, you're going to walk in, you're going to push some buttons, you might drag and drop something, and you are an expert because he took all the crap that none of us like doing, getting traffic. I could get traffic, but I couldn't bring anybody with me no matter what I did. I had a statement said to me flat out, Marty, if you didn't care so much about people, you'd be a millionaire. I'll stay broke. Until Unpassive came. When I saw Unpassive, I go, wait a minute. All these people that I'm talking to, the reason my face is out here is because I'm proud to be in it. I believe with all my heart, all of you are going to do very, very well. Now, you can lay back on the couch and just kind of skim along. Why would you do that? You could take 32 years like Chris, years and years of, of Red and his wife, and then they... They had a campsite. They worked like mules. You could take all that and scrunch it in to a couple of years and live a life you never believed in. You couldn't believe it would happen. And most of you believe that. And that, to me, that's my gratitude today, knowing that I've seen all these people. Yes, some people have dwindled away. But even the ones that you think went away, they're not. They just backed off a little bit. It's okay. Everybody will come back. But I, I stand I stand tall with Mr. Bufara. I stand tall with these gentlemen. I stand tall with all the family members I have around the world. We have people doing French webinars, Marcy uh, Ann. You got OTEC Pros doing, shining the light on people, sharing information, uh, inspiring people to want to think about the possibilities. I talked to Robin last night and, and people don't realize I don't care what your passion is. I don't care if you had a product before you got here. You could take that product or that passion, plug it into on passive, and 
blow over to smithler, smithereens. I mean, make a lot of money from it because why? It's a system that is set up for you to win. And, it, and listen, we keep forgetting this isn't just about founders. Customers will come in here that love a product that they have and finally see that this company can get that part that I can't do and I'll be able to do it. There's so many people love products and they tell them we'll go out there and share it. What, with the family that wants to block you in the head because you brought them to 50 different products and nothing's working? There's dreamers out there. There's people that believe different. When they find out on passive is to catapult their business, they're going to come in by the millions, by the millions and millions. Anyway, I'm going to turn it over to Red for a little bit because I'm going to hurt myself. So. Uh, no, I... It's funny, isn't it, that uh, Marty was talking about uh, the business that we were involved with um, before we came into to on passive, and it really was uh, about a guy who had elevated himself personally into a level where he was portraying himself as a inverted commas guru, and was uh, teaching a select few. All very uh, were all these words I'm using are the words that uh, many of them use to make you feel special, so that you part with your money. And uh, he uh, always talked about how much money he had made online previously to teaching us how to be successful marketeers online. And the reason I've brought this up as well is because uh, I left really because a things weren't going in the direction uh, as quickly as i thought they would from what he had told us at the beginning but mainly cuz i couldn't afford to uh, as marty said it would regardless of what we were doing every single month was either 100 or 120 dollars that we had to fork out now don't forget this is 7 years ago OK, we're not talking one hundred dollars now. We're talking one hundred dollars seven years ago, which is, you know, a lot more money and value. But uh, obviously, uh, I still uh, I don't follow the guy as per se what he's doing, but I ha I am subscribed to his YouTube channel. And funnily enough, three days ago, he put up a new video. And the reason I brought this up is because I wanted to tell Marty he put it up three days ago and he's had 81 views so far. Now, <laughs> it, it just goes to show, doesn't it, that uh, regardless of reputation, regardless of how good you say you are, it always boils down to one thing. And what is that thing? The proof is in the pudding. Now, the reason I brought this up is because on passive is going to be exactly the same. Yes, we can talk. Yes, we can say what's going to be happening. Yes, we can believe where we're going to be and all the rest of it. But one thing I do know is the proof will be in the pudding. Why? Because we have all the right ingredients for this pie. We've done everything correctly to make it the best pudding that's going to be out there. And because of that, People are going to want it. And that is the big difference here is you can talk the talk. You can say, I've done this. You can do all of these things. But if you are not coming up with the goods, the likes of me walked away from it. Marty walked away from it as well after time after because it didn't stack up to what we were being told. Here comes along on passive. The dream, the vision. We all got that bug. We got excited with it. We are still excited with it. Why? Because it is completely different. It's nothing we've seen before. It is giving us the hope and the dream back once again. Kids, they are born with dreams. If you ask any kid who is under the age of 10, what do you want to be when you grow up? What do they say? Astronaut fireman, ballerina, racing driver, you know, big dreams of what they want to be because 
they still dream. And the older you get, the more you get it battered out of you because people keep telling you, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. So you end up losing your dreams, losing that big drive to want to achieve something because he got every man and his dog telling you you can't do it. Along comes on passive. Ash Mufara, what does he say to us? You're not dreaming big enough, guys. You need bigger dreams than that. You don't want to have a little dream. You want to have a, have a huge, massive dream because what I'm going to do for you is going to allow you to have the biggest dream you can possibly have. And on top of all of that, guess what? I'm not going to charge you every single month. I'm not going to be taking money off you every single month just because I've said it, not like what me and Marty did before. We're not asking you to do anything more. We've paid twice. Marty said that. If you're an early bird founder, you paid 93 bucks, $97. If you're not, all you've paid for is O-Connect to become an affiliate. We've not been asked to pay any extra money yet at all to be here and on passive. But guess what? Your dream is still well and truly intact and very much alive because the company is still here. The company is going to be doing huge, massive things because the ingredients of that pie are here. It's just cooking. We've had to turn the gas down a little bit. It was starting to get a bit burnt on the top. We need to make sure that it is exactly right. So that's it for me. I'm going to hand it back to Chris. Very good, Red. Very good, Marty. Uh, and I want a correction here. Uh, Sula McCormick for the loss of her mother. I apologize and our condolences to you. Um, I try to catch most of these things, and boy, Red and Marty just said, said a whole bunch. Um, you know, dreams are important to everyone, uh, and Red didn't include in there that well, I, at nine years old, I want to be an auto worker, but that's what I ended up doing. Um, these guys talk about MLM and uh, trying to get out. Or did, listen, I spent 32 years trying to get out, but it took me 32 years to get out. Uh, and, and I know there's a lot of people maybe in that situation. Let's just face it. Work, work sucks. Uh, there's no other way to put it. You could have the greatest job in the world, but guess what? You still have to go there. Um, I used to get mad. I'm like, why didn't Ash do this 30, 32 years ago? But that's just life. Well, uh, we do have to work. We did have to pay our bills. You know, I owe, I owe off the work I go. That, that was a part of the old life. But the new light that's coming for them passive is I owe, I owe, I'm going to go play. You know, I mean, <laughs> that's just how I look at it. Time and freedom is the most important thing that we have. The sad thing is, is we don't have time and we don't have freedom. Uh, your time is spent working probably 50 to 75% of your life, whether you stick with one job or you go, you go to a million jobs, you still got to be there. Um, can I change my life? I couldn't then, but I can now. Uh, like I said, 32 years was a long time. Uh, I've been with Passive for going on four years right now, uh, but I've had fun doing it, uh, meeting people like crazy. But I, the main thing is, is, the reason I'm here is because what Ash Mafara is saying to us. What he's saying to us is very, very important about just getting it done. Do it or die. Um, every one of us have some kind of crazy dream. I guarantee you that. But are you going to say do it or die? No, we haven't said it. Most people, like Red said, we gave up on our dreams. Uh, we packed them in a suitcase, put them in the attic, put them in the basement. But through our passive, we've opened up millions and millions of people's eyes and hearts to say, wow, this is possible. Wow, it's unique. Wow, it's different. And this one guy that's leading us, this crazy guy we call Ash Bafara, I could call him crazy because he is. He's worse than me. He loves giving money away, <laughs> you know, but that's what he's done for the last Five, six years, or whatever long Red and Marty's been on here, that's what he's done. He's given away cars, phones. Um, he's helped people. And we're going to let him tell him that later in his life. Uh, but I really, one of the biggest things I talk to Marty all the time is, man, I just really 
wish people knew who Ash Mafar really was instead of going on the internet and reading some crap stuff about him. You know, the sad thing is I go on the internet, I got crap stuff about me. Uh, most of you know who I am. Most of you know Red, Marty. We're, we're here to talk about something that's going to change your life. We're here to talk about a guy, one guy and his family, who's done something that no one else wanted to do. They didn't try to do. And he's getting beat up for it. I support you, brother, wherever you're at. This is exactly what we do. All right? We don't stop doing it. Ash Mafar is still here. Unpassive is still here. Us three goofballs are still here. Why? Because we believe in something that much that it's going to change things. Hold on, Amanda. I'm on a live. I'll call you back. See, I got to hang up on my daughter. <laughs> My daughter says, what do you got to do today? I got to do shine the light. And I got a very important meeting at 12 o'clock with 360. Why? Because this is what we do. This is how we believe in this. You really think I'd be wasting four years of my life if I didn't believe in something? That's the answer to all the negative people that talk to me. What are you wasting your life for? This isn't wasting my life. This is changing my life. I worked for 32 years. I didn't change my life. All right. This is going to give me the opportunity to change my life and many other lives. Um, I just noticed someone popped up on there. I'll wait till he turns his camera on. But this is the guy we've all been talking about. All right? This is the guy that's given us the time and freedom back. Uh, that's told us stories of what we're going to do. And it's going to be amazing. Period, period, period. That guy right there. We call him Ash Mafara. Pretty cool dude. Uh, I hope you all get to know who he really is in the future. You will see who he really is. And he's going to change the world. He said, I was born to change the world. Hey, man, I, I didn't wake up and say I was born to be an auto worker. <clears throat> but that's what I did. Taking risks and chances. Ah, I better not do that. I was afraid. I have no fear in this company. This company is going to take us to levels we've never thought possible. Eh, it's taking a little time. But again, I'll go back to... 32 years. I did something for 32 years that I didn't like. That's the honest to God truth. And I done but killed myself doing it. But getting on and talking to people every single day is easy. It's fun. Uh, knowing people that live all the way around the other side of the world, they have the same dreams, uh, the same ambitions as myself. That's pretty cool. You know, uh, I get texts from ugh, every country, every country saying, wow, I love this company. I love this company. We support this company. <clears throat> and that's what we have to keep on doing. No matter what, we support this company. We support Ashmafar. That's me. That's Red. That's Marty. I can't speak for a million other people, but I'm getting messages <laughs> telling me every single day. So I can keep going on. I don't want to keep rambling. I see the uh, the this star of the show just showed up. I'm grateful. I'm waiting for him to turn his camera on. Now Marty's got his camera off, and there's Marty. <clears throat> but this is what we do, guys. This is what we do. Uh, I I have no negativity in what we do. I love it. I love it because this company is going to literally change this world and everything in it, and that's what I believe in my heart. That's why we do this every day. Um, everything is just going to come out perfect. Uh, it might take a little longer than we want, like we always say, <clears throat> but I'm not doing anything else. I, I've gone fishing. Let's see. I cut my grass. I do everything to keep my mind busy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I sound like Marty. The truth is I don't have to do all the stuff Ash Mafar is doing right now. That's why I'm able to go do all this stuff. Boy, if I had his worries, I probably would have buried myself uh, two years ago, but he keeps going. Uh, and he's going to keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And when everything is ready to go, uh, you can go, go enjoy yourself. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. If you get discouraged, go and do something that you like. The main, main thing here. So, Marty, I'm going to turn this back over to you because I am running out of things to say. <laughs> <laughs> you did very good, though, considering you had nothing. Um, you know, Chris was talking about People saying to him, "You're why do you waste so much time? Like I've said, we've all said it. I'm here because I want to be. 
I love what I'm doing. I love the company. I love what's going on. But I find it ironic that somebody would say, why are you wasting all this time? But what's more of a waste of a waste of time? A person telling me that I'm wasting time and they're following me around for six years? I don't know. I would think about something else. If you're chasing me for six years, isn't that a waste of time? Obviously, I'm not listening to you. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. But anyway, um, yeah. Oh, another thing, you know, there's um if if Gershmender's out there any Indian leader. You guys can start doing spotlight, shine the light, and bring on people. Because I know one thing: you got a lot of powerful speakers, it, men and women. I met some of your women, and they are phenomenal. And that would be good to get people out in the open so everybody knows who they are. Just a suggestion. But yeah, I, I'm really grateful, obviously, to the Mafaras more than I, I'll never be able to repay them. I think what I have received to this point was priceless. I saw people go from not turning their camera on, wouldn't put their name underneath the dark spot, to now speaking to hundreds, if not thousands of people. If that doesn't mean something, you know, if that's not value, because think about it, we all come to a passive is fertile ground for everybody to be 100% of who they are. And I see it happening every day. I see people, well, I don't feel comfortable. Then you get talking to them and you're having a conversation. You know, Red said it, Chris said it, I said it. When you're talking and you're really into it and you're speaking from the heart, I'm not, I'm, I'm actually talking to three or four people. Now, there might be a thousand people in my window looking in, listening, but really you're just focused on a small group of people. That makes it easier. You're just, and, and by the way, if you love something, because people say, I don't know how you can talk about it so much. I love my grandson. I can talk about him all day. If you love something, it's easy. I, I it, Yeah, it would be hard for me if I was faking it. And some of the MLMs, they said, fake it till you make it. I wasn't very good at that. Fumbling around, trying to think of what to say. You know why? Because you have to think of what to say because you don't believe in what you're saying. But when you believe in it, it, it makes it really, really easy. And the friendships that I would have never had, I would have never met Robin, I would have never met Red, I would have never met Chris, I wouldn't have met Mr. McFarland, which was a big one for me too, obviously. But I wouldn't have met all my friends from Africa, I wouldn't have met Gershmender or the Indians, I wouldn't have met anybody. I was in a house in New Jersey, and here comes the internet. And even then, I met a lot of people, but it was a it was leaves, right? They come into your life and they blow away. You heard the story about the tree. With Unpassive, we have roots. We have people that are there and they're not going to blow away. They stay here. And Unpassive is that big redwood that it's not going anywhere. You know, so, and, and I love that. I love knowing that I can come on. I can talk to anybody. In fact, when I get on, I, I start talking to somebody and they could be anywhere. And you hear what they're now. Is there a lot of sad news? Yeah, when you meet thousands of people, you're going to hear bad things. But I want to tell you what's really awesome. Even with the bad things, and we all have things in our life, you know why? You don't want to. You don't want to hear mine, but I have. I've told people, hey, can you pray for this or pray for that with my wife? And things happen that aren't normal. They happen really quick, like. She had uh, shingles. The doctor told her, I think you're getting shingles on your face. And I asked everybody to say, please pray for Dawn. You know, she's got a thing going on. Next day, the whole thing was gone. That just doesn't happen. So I believe in that. Uh, I've seen it happen. So I love, the, I love the company because what brings us together is friendship and family. I, I spend more time with unpassive than my own family. I, I love my family. I'm not talking about my immediate family here. Just, they're right here. <laughs> they, they're not going nowhere. But I mean, my my other, my my regular children, not my grandchildren. Yeah, I talk to them every day and all that. But I uh, I don't have any friends outside of unpassive my age. Zero. I know acquaintances. I grew up with people when I was younger, but I don't really know them anymore. I got to know people in unpassive. It was a big deal for me. Anyway, 
my tap dance shoes are about broke. I got stuff in my heels are gone. I'm flat footed. I'm going to turn it over to uh, the person we all love and um, are grateful to, Mr. Ask Me Farm. We're waiting, Chris. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody sorry i wanted to be with you uh, a little earlier but uh, an urgent uh, call uh, was uh, necessary to attend to uh, it's all because what i'm about to share with you right now hope you're doing good uh, i enjoyed uh, being on that chair uh, a couple of days ago it was recorded actually on sunday with uh, Red Redfern, and uh, it was uh, streamed on Monday. If you didn't see it, if you didn't make the time, you're not missing much. So uh, you don't have to see it again. <laughs> but uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, it is worth to watch and uh, to show you the direction we're headed. Uh, clever questions by Red and whoever helped in articulating those questions. I did enjoy it. I actually begged him for a second round. Uh, Let's see if he would allow me. But uh, the other part is I have been uh, trying to come out here with more precise uh, updates and information about what we talked about last time, which is the three scenarios. And uh, they're no longer three scenarios. Right now we have two scenarios, and they're not A, B, C that we've had, so we've got to revise them as of today. Uh, so the first update I want to uh, let you know as of now, we all know, I hope you know by now, that our site and sites and applications being down, unfortunately, was done because of mismanagement of certain uh, individuals. Some are no longer with us. In fact, many are no longer with us uh, because of that massive uh, mistake. They hurt, uh, hurt the business and, and our uh, daily activity. So that was done. Because it was intentional, obviously, things were complicated. We were very concerned about our applications, our hard work for many years, and our database, which is worth a lot. It's treasure, okay, etc. So, as of today, I can tell you we have safeguarded and recovered 100% of our source codes, all the applications, all the work from day one until now, 100% saved. That's one. Two, the database. Basically, your data, your profile, your, uh, your profile, your login, your customers, referrals, the, the wallet, the funding, the bonus, all of that. Uh, all that also, database, all the people in the IT sector, they understand. It has been recovered 100%. So as of today, we did not lose a line. This is good but still not live. Not, it doesn't mean today we can access again. This means we, with, with the data, with the information we have as of now, we can build a new infrastructure anywhere or a new hosting, all of that, day and night, okay? So we're good. This is what we can do today, all right? This is what you need to do, you know that... Uh, it's obviously going to be recovered and we're going to resume business and move on to the next phase. It's not where we're worried about what if things don't come out uh, complete or we're unable to recover 100% of our business. That would have been uh, more, uh, you know, challenging. Regardless, we are going to keep pushing and we're going to continue this uh uh, battle, if you wish, until we are 100% uh, uh, on track, and immediately we will communicate to, with you about the next phase. Uh, today, I could tell you probably the best day in the last two, three months, okay? 
uh, as of now, the progress. I want to thank our uh, team in Hyderabad and other locations who have been working tirelessly uh, in some days, um, 20 hours or so. Uh, I wouldn't exaggerate if some people were attentive at least for 23 hours. Yes, how? I mean, they, they stole a nap here and there, okay, but uh, it doesn't mean um, they were off and, and, and relaxing. So uh, this takes uh, high dedication from the team and uh, commitment. Uh, with the complicated circumstances, so we want to applaud all of our uh, teams and managers in India. Uh, great job. And uh, for that, we are in debt and, and, and in gratitude. So uh, moving forward, I'm going to give you now the two scenarios, okay? Both scenarios are within the month of September, we should be able to go back, A and B. So one is a little faster, okay? It's not going to happen like in the next two days. I, I'm very uh, accurate with you. Uh, if, if everything goes well, uh, you know, we have either it's just like a week difference or something, but at uh, most before the end of September, like within 30 days, uh, we should be backtrack. If things happen sooner, uh, obviously that would be the first uh, uh, preferred uh, scenario. We no longer need uh, three months and two months, and uh, it didn't happen this week, obviously. So we are revising uh, the uh, scenarios. Uh, number one, uh, we are concrete now. We have 100% uh, confidence that we are coming back real soon. Just give us a t time to revamp and restructure things so we can go live. Uh, we have A and B. Both are before the end of September, very much so. Uh, we don't expect, you know, uh, surprises or any setbacks because uh, we gave ourselves a little buffer, so it might be happen you know even sooner but at most it will be happening within the next uh, 30 days okay so this is what i wanted to say for now uh things are really uh getting back to where we wanted them to be uh, a while ago and uh with this new chapter we're gonna have enormous excitement because what you're gonna see the different level of quality the uh, accuracy, the reliable technology, all of that, what we wanted to achieve uh, from the beginning. Uh, a couple of things uh, before I uh, head uh, out. Number one, we have good news uh, that our progress on our side in terms of not only recovering the technical aspect of our business, but also moving forward in the logistics uh, aspect. I wanna stop there, but we have bad news for those who caused this damage and setback in our business. So everything is gonna be uh, revealed and I uh, wish I could uh, elaborate more, but soon we'll be happy to do so. At the moment, I uh, want you to cherish the moment again and uh, enjoy that we are coming back real soon. Everything is uh, recovered, business is intact. Uh, of course, they're gonna be uh, really uh, dramatic changes, positive ones, obviously, or drastic changes. Perhaps uh, it's gonna be a very, very positive curve in our business, okay? So this this return and this uh, new dimension of our business is gonna make you uh, happy. It will please you. I'm confident uh, we're gonna have the best days of our business just coming soon. Any question, any topic I should address in a minute or two, I'm happy to do that. Otherwise, uh, we will uh, be connecting uh, again soon. I don't know how you top that. That was good.
That was perfect. perfect. Oh. <clears throat> Fantastic. Uh, I hope you uh, will have and enjoy the rest of your day or evening if you are in the east part. And I'll see you next time. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you, Al. Thanks, Ash. First, you can go boating. I mean, fishing. I, whatever yeah. you call it. I got to work. I got some more work to do. Wow. Ain't not, ain't not the best news ever. Yeah. That was important, guys. I don't know if you realize that. That was very, very important. That was the best news we could have got. Yeah. Absolutely. Getting all that back locked up. Oh, it's a big deal. Big, big Huge. deal. And it sounds like over right over the horizon, we got something even bigger. So. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Thank you, everybody. Cheers. Put the counter on. <laughs>